द वेल्थ एंड पॉवर्टी ऑफ नेशन बाय डेविड एस लैंडेस वॉज रिटर्न इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट अमेरिका सोसाइटी ऑफ स्मॉल होल्डर एंड रिलेटिवली वेल पेड वर्कर वॉज अ सीट बैक ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एंड एंटरप्राइज जेन्यन सक्सेस इज नेवर एन एक्सीडेंट द प्रॉस्परस हैव अ कल्चर ऑफ प्रोग्रेस दैट कम्बाइंस क्यूरोसिटी एंड परसिस्टेंट एप्लीकेशन अ थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो नो वन कुड हैव प्रोडिक्टेड कॉन्टिनेंटल यूरोप डोमिनेंस इट वॉज अंडर अटैक फ्रॉम द वाइकिंग्स टू द नॉर्थ द मोस्ट टू द साउथ एंड द मैगियाज टू द ईस्ट एंड वॉज एन इंटलेक्चुअल एंड टेक्निकल लैगर्ड कंपेयर टू द लर्निंग ऑफ द अरब वर्ल्ड एंड चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन चाइनीज रूलर्स वर कंट्रोल फ्रीक्स इन टूडेज लैंग्वेज रेगुलेटिंग एवरी थिंग एंड डिमांडिंग टोटल ओबीडियंस एंटरप्राइज वॉज सीन एज अ थ्रेट दस यूरोप ओवर टूक चाइना by refining and adapting many of its innovation unlike china landes say europe was a learner despite its feudal structure of kings and queens nobles and peasants medieval europe had vibrant self organizing cities and region it was essentially a free market not merely of products but of ideas literacy was not just a luxury for the rich landes says european read wrote and published private citizens as well as officials the driving forces were the desire to keep records but also curiosity portugal lost its scientific leadership and turned inward with all education and learning strictly controlled by the church it held on to its empire but badly lost ground in the vital sciences of astronomy and navigation and became less productive in agriculture thus the simple formula replayed many times through history and certainly applicable to spain and portugal close mindedness is equal to economic failure Landes argue that although geography has been very important in the development of nation it would be a mistake to see geography as a destiny Europe was indeed lucky but luck is only a beginning some historians landes say seek a multicultural globalist egalitarian history that tells something about everybody in this schema the european american success is seen as a lucky accident but if this is true how do we account for the industrialization and prosperity of asian countries like malaysia singapore and south korea since the second world war when most africa and south american countries have stood still or gone backward is the progress of these countries mere accidental such an argument surely overlook the effort of the people who made it happen and only some of these are leaders and government officials and other thesis go maybe the other countries did not want to industrialize and adopt western institution they are rightly against any form of imperialism there is something to this landes admit however wealth is wealth and poverty is poverty whatever country you are standing in and many of these places have had multiple opportunities to improve what then is the s factor that distinguishes dynamic successful nation from those that languish islamic civilization had once been europe's teacher way ahead of it in learning and culture but from the trump of 1187 when the christian crusaders were driven out of the middle east landes argued the course of islam was mostly downhill while europe was separating the religious and the secular putting a new emphasis on facts learning and scientific progress islam was insisting on theocracy 
a good state was a religious state and those dedicated to science were not to be trusted the legacy with the exception of oil rich emirates the great majority of islamic countries are economic backwater and most are dictatorship of one form or another like the spanish the oil windfalls of many arab countries have been a handicap rather than a boon developing world competitive industrial enterprises has not been thought necessary today islamic country face another great hurdle to development and prosperity women continue to be excluded from the workforce landers argue that the best clue to a nation growth and development potential is the status and role of women this is the greatest handicap of muslim middle eastern societies today the flaw that most bars them from modernity the arab world likes to blame all it was on israel but landers suggest that middle east peace if it ever comes will simply further expose the failing of the islamic economic model some characteristics of prosperous countries are thus a belief in progress openness to outside influences a desire to produce rather than consume a high value put on learning emphasis on establishing the facts and government by the people for the people in contrast fundamentalist quest for purity are diseases that quickly kill off economic health the optimistic hard working countries will always have the edge but it is the qualities of individual that makes them this way and with enough individual thinking the same way you have a culture in the wealth or poverty success or failure of nation cultures matter in the success or failure of individuals culture is character honesty persistence diligence vision self education living by results at the end of this book landes admit that the recipe of self empowerment sounds like a cliche yet at heart every person nation and company knows it is true natural aptitude are always as advantage but no one is ever born successful just as nations are not born rich